I don't know. Welcome to Charlie TV. <laughs> resources while our problems got worse. The city budgets and the state budgets are in serious trouble. What can we do? What can we do about this situation? What I finally settled on was that the one hope that we had was strengthening our local communities. It was a shift for me. Of course, I've been working at national elections and national offices. This was a very big shift for me to say, you know what? It may be that what is going to save us is just the work that we do in our own neighborhoods. It's discouraging for me right now to see that there's not a lot of frankness about the problems that we have. What discourages me about that is not that the city is dealing with its economic problems, it's the fact that it's not being openly dealt with. That we're not really making conscious choices about whether we you know, support this or that. Uh, Gary Schiff, the council member from Ward 9 was there and he said, you know, here's the increase in funding for Phase 3 NRP. What he didn't mention was the fact that many, many city offices that have been paid for under city budgets were now folded into that. And I saw the same thing at a uh, Longfellow Community Council meeting the next month with Sandy. What we need to do is we need to have transparency about the problems we have. But what we also need to look forward to is the resources that we do have. Some of the projects that are going on right now excite me. I've had talks with Don, for example, about neighborhood community gardens. And we've talked about some of the threats, for example, to the Dowling Garden just up the street from here. How so simply that garden could be taken over by bureaucratic constraints that have nothing to do with its viability as a community tool that builds strengthens the things that we do with each other, that even provides food for local, for local use. I'm excited, for example, about using the existing infrastructure to have a bikeway all the way from Lake Calhoun to the Mississippi River. And they're going to basically use 40th Street and 42nd Street to bring it straight over. The cost is minimal. There is the possibility that we together, if we use our intelligence and if we pool our experiences, can solve the problems that we have with food, with energy, with housing. All of these problems can be solved, but we're going to have to work together, and it's probably only going to happen at 